Hi, it's Robin Nancy here from poppyspaintpowder.com. Here's Poppy. We're here to give you a quick tips on waxing today. Correct. Very good. Thanks, my honey. Yeah. All right, so there's a couple ways you can apply wax. Everybody has a little different method. Me, I personally, I prefer the cloth. I can spread it a little better. I feel I can get in the cracks a little better in the grooves, especially with our paint powder because it gives you such a nice, fine texture. You can, uh, you can determine how you want the piece to look by how you treat it after you paint it. I have not sanded this. This is the back of the door. This is the front of the door after it's been done. This has not been uh, polished yet it's, or buffed out. It's only just been applied. Uh, me, I like a cloth. A lot of people like a brush. And a lot of proponents actually swear by the brush. So I'm going to show you both ways. All right, I'm going to show you how I do it. First off, this cloth has been used a lot, so you can see it's pretty dark. But you take a little bit of wax, just take the wax, all right, nondescript dark wax here, all right, rub it in a little bit, get a little bit on the cloth, okay, see all that, and wipe it off. You don't want all that wax on there, it's just way too much wax, all right. Just pick a spot, since this is a squared off area, I'm just going to rub it sideways, all right. A little more wax, just a tiny bit. Now see how black that is? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about how dark it is right there right now because you pick up a, another cloth, you know, something smooth, and you just wipe it off. If you put too much on, wipe it off. I want that a little darker. I just wipe a little more on so you can see how that works. Now with the brush, the brush technique's a little different, and it's really good for, like, the edges. And I normally don't do both, but I'll do one. Swirl the brush in there a little. Get a bunch of, bunch of wax on there. Brush it off, okay? You want it kind of dry and then you just swirl. Sure. All right, rub it in the edges and just swirl it around. Give it a little swirl, rub it off again, and try and blend them together. Little, little circles, big circles, doesn't matter. As long as you cover it all, that's the whole point. You don't want this process to take too long, you don't want your wax to dry on you, but you got a fair amount of working time here. Now, me back to the cloth. What I'm trying to do is really just work this dark wax into my paint. All right. Like I said, I did not sand it, so the texture's a little, uh, a little more raised than if I had fine sanded it. And it really goes with the look I'm looking for. If I'm looking for something that's not antique, looks a little newer, just painted and beat up, I'll sand it first and then I'll use a clear wax because it gives it more of a just painted furniture look, you know, so, and as you can see, if you come back down here again, I take and right away, from how dark it was, I wipe that off, all right, see in the edge here, it's a little deep, just take and take your cloth off the back. So that's a couple quick tips on how to apply your wax. Play with it, have fun. It's a great and easy thing to do. It is just the most fun you can have with some gloves. All right, it's Poppy saying bye.